Are American white pelicans too heavy to dive after prey? Probably, which is why they scoop fish out of the water while swimming. Netting fish may be safer, but how does a white pelican find enough food to sustain its large body? Adopting a leisurely pace is one way to conserve energy. Also, American white pelicans are extremely opportunistic, kleptoparasitic, and most interestingly, are known to coordinate their efforts when feeding. How often have you seen an American white pelican foraging by itself? In Sarasota, Florida, I videotaped five pelicans swimming together and repeatedly dipping their bills into the water. Periodically, they stopped and formed a circle, presumably to entrap a school of fish that they proceeded to scoop out of the water. Are the birds intentionally cooperating with one another for the common good? Hey guys, there's a shallow inlet over here. Let's get together and corral a school of fish. Or, are they simply responding to the same stimulus, and in the process coincidentally forming a circle as each bird pushes its way closer to the fish? When forging together, it isn't clear if all participating pelicans equally benefit from the group effort. Probably not, but we do know that American white pelicans travel in family groups which suggests that some selfish behavior is tolerated by other members in the clan. It is interesting to note that fishing together is not always productive. At Freeze Out Lake in Montana, for example, we videotaped pelicans trying in vain to capture large carp they had gathered to spawn. Not once did we see a peloton catch a fish. Yet the sight of a carp was enough to draw a group of pelicans together to fish cooperatively even when the prey was obviously too large to entrap. We can only assume that, on average, group forging is more productive than forging alone. Also, as shown in part three of this series, attraction to other foraging birds, even if it's another species, has its rewards.